In this week's episode, we are going vegan. We have to get a full fit without using any animal products. Catch us with salad on our feet. And dying. Oh shit, mate, I'm not going near that. Fuck, I don't know what to do. Clothes. This is a special series that is going to be based around sustainable fashion, something that has been long overdue. So we will be dropping episodes for the sustainable series in the upcoming months, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. PAQ presents V-Gang. Gang. Bruv, all I can think of is that I want a bacon and sausage sandwich, bruv. You would never say I really fancy a bacon sausage sandwich if we weren't doing a vegan episode. <laughs> Welcome back to PAQ. As you already know, we are the best fashion show on the internet, dropping videos every single Thursday. Comment below in the first three hours for your chance to win a Kyra tote bag. In this week's episode, we are going vegan. So the rules of this challenge are very simple. A full fit using no animal products, which includes... No beef. Sweet. Right, let's get this vegan. Shaq's my therapist. It says here in your notes that you are obsessed with the color black. So where, where do you think that started from? I had a nightmare. Ah, time's up. <laughs> You're out, thanks. So PAQ challenge, vegan fits. Aim of the challenge is to find a full fit with no animal products being used. And it has to be sustainable. So this is part of our mission to start talking about sustainability on our platform a lot more. Fashion's all cool and that, but one thing that I think people should take into consideration is that fashion is one of the biggest polluters in the world. Going vegan is one of the ways that you can reduce the carbon footprint, reduce your harm on the environment, harm to mother nature, the ultimate milk. But of course, it is very, very complicated. We're gonna get stuff wrong. So if you guys have any other suggestions on what we could do to help improve this, comment below your suggestions. So today, I am looking at how luxury brands approach sustainability. I picked a very famous vegetarian from a very famous vegetarian family. Obviously, I had to choose Stella McCartney. So since 2001, Stella McCartney, the brand, has been completely vegetarian, completely cruelty-free. So I'm gonna head over to Stella's flagship store on Bond Street. So today, of course, I'm going to be exploring footwear. I'm going to the shiny store to meet Mats Rombo, who's the founder of Rombo Sheets. Hi, I'm Mats Rombo, and I'm here today to show Elia some of my uh, latest collection, to show him that you don't really have to sacrifice on style to make something more positive. So today is about London and what the community in London is actually doing around me. So I'm in Wood Green, and today I'm showcasing my boy Khan Amjad. Hi, my name's Khan, and I'm a designer based in North London, and today we're helping Shaq find a vegan item from my Autumn Winter 19 collection. One massive problem with the fashion industry is dyeing clothes. So, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys an alternative way to dye your clothes. So I have found out that in a lot of our green spaces in London are plants and natural resources that you can actually use to dye your clothes. Right now, I'm in Hackney Marshes with a spade, some gloves and a sidekick. I am Scott Croft. You may recognize me, you may not. I am a human being. You know, I just exist, really. Do you actually know what the hell you're doing? Yeah, man, I'm, you know, as you know, I'm a man of the wild. You know, I was born and raised in the wilderness by a pack of wolves. Dex seems to think I'm a very green-fingered person. I'd say he's half right. I played enough Minecraft to know that that's a tree. So I've prepared some packs that is gonna help us with this journey we're gonna go on. Here's your one. It's really sustainable of you, printing that too. <laughs> So me and Khan started chopping it up in the, in the studio upstairs. You know, we started off by looking at the t-shirt. So this is the white t-shirt. It says on it, sustainability is not a trend. Yeah. It's made from 100% organic cotton. What does organic cotton mean? Organic cotton basically means that there's no like pesticides and excessive use of insect repellent and stuff like that. Um, and actually they're fair trade as well. Where did it all start? It started seven years ago after working for other houses in Paris. I realized there was so much pollution going on in fashion industry and also in the world so I wanted to I wanted to make something that was more sustainable and, yeah. and that you know make 
fashion that doesn't leave so much trash behind. And you know, seven years later, to be actually starting to make some waves in the industry, you know, saying that, you know, you've got the likes of people like Bella Hadid that really love the crepes and have got like quite a few pairs and are always rocking them. I just wanted to give you like a little tour of the store because this place is essentially as sustainable as a store gets, if you'd like to follow. So, concrete, it is fluted and then it works way down into being smooth. That is because Stellies spend a lot of time at the beach and it's almost like going into the waves. In the middle, these are real rocks and the moss underneath it is real moss as well, so they have to water it and maintain it. It just makes you want to come back and really like appreciate the details. Then we come to the tilt, which is actually silicon. So, it's mad. This is going to tell us everything we need to know. So this is a wildflower. It produces Lincoln Green, which is supposed to have been used to dye the clothes worn by Robin Hood in the 13th century. What? Robin Hood was real? Huh? So in here, it's a little bit different. A little sharpie, so you can write a message for Stella. You can sign your name. That is your Dyson Airblade, yeah. Look at how quick this drives me on. We gotta think, what colours do you wanna dye your clothes? So yellow and blue, no. Mother root! <laughs> it creates red as well. Alright, so this is no. your favourite one, I favorite guess. Favourite colour's red. But this is the rarest one to find apparently. Yeah. Oh, I could try find beetroot. I'm sure there's some wild beetroot lying around here somewhere. Beetroot. Yeah, you beetroot. 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 <laughs> beetroot. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say beef root? <laughs> you ready? I'm ready like madder root. Let's do it. <laughs> In the beginning, it started more as a, as a concept. Okay. So it was, um, I wanted to experiment only with natural material. So I was using uh, tree bark. And then for a shoe that was biodegradable and it, it fell apart after, I don't know, three, four months. In the end, it was like 800 euro. It was definitely harder. And he was saying that he was making shoes that cost about 800 and they ended up like breaking down because they biodegraded way too quick and you know i think that's so cool to be at the forefront of something so early that's a dark leaf there did i find anything no it's not no i just did a quick lap there's only yeah. green i i don't really know what i'm looking there's no for Holly Hawk. how do you feel about an old green outfit though dex because that's what it looks like hello darkness my old friend I'm looking at this stuff here, yeah, and I'm just like, bro, this is yeah. literally taking me back to like early 2000s, fam. I am like a Sean John fanatic. I have like this yeah, iconic yeah. blue Sean John tracksuit, bro. And I looking, saw, saw, saw. you seen yeah, that? Yeah, no wrong with it. Right, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's his own thing. It's beautiful. The way it's crafted, the way it looks, even the feel of it, fam, is just mad. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't even know you could even get a sustainable velour tracksuit, which is crazy. If I must be honest, though, we got distracted. There's a script, bro. Yo, no, I'm intimidated already. Yo, no, you're getting too close to my face. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, <laughs> shit, shit, that went south so quickly. I actually want to try this one badly, the fam. Flex with a double hood as well. Fam, shit. he went in with this one still, I'm not going to lie, bro. That is, yeah. So the first look I tried on was the wine velour pants, and then I tried on the grey hoodie with the two hoods, which was absolutely fire. And That's like the nice. double hood thing as well. Does it fit your long ass? My big yeah. head, fam. You know, the wine stained pants, I think it's absolutely sick with the, with the phone pocket as well. You know, the phones are getting bigger. I imagine the radiation is getting more, so I'm just trying to take that away from your area, you know? So we are now upstairs at the top floor. There was a lot more clothes that I wanted to try on than what we had time for. <laughs> right, I need to try and think through three outfits at least to try on. I probably end up doing more, to be fair. We are not selling for nettles. Say it with me now. No nettles. No nettles. Let's not settle for nettles. Let's not settle for nettles. Give us a sign! We've settled for nettles. So this jumper's made out of really like, interesting material. It's quite heavy, it's got a nice weight to it. For this challenge in particular, we had to go full vegan. So there were a lot of stuff that maybe contained wool, so it was vegetarian, but not quite vegan, so... Yeah, it looks like wool, but it's made out of cotton. That is a, a very big bonus. So, of course, we were talking about all the negative effects on things that are not sustainable. What practices or what things make leather really unsustainable, I guess? It's not only growing the food to feed the animal, but it's also the production processes behind leather. Um, the alternative materials are, for now, 
mostly synthetic, but they're not really there yet. Leather products do X to the world, but then making a synthetic material can do X to the world as well. And then it's like finding the balance, and then it's like, okay, as long as we're putting the resources to trying to make a change and making steps forward, that's what matters, right? Gathering the nettles was actually quite funny. I mean, me, I had the gloves, I trusted in my gloves. Scott was, um, ah, the karma. Oh. I hate kids. <laughs> Yo, that's some like creepy shit. And then here is the main event, fam. Oh, this is what you came to see, okay. We got onto the jacket, man. The boss level jacket, fam. This is not made from leather. It's made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. The backing of the jacket has been turned into like a rayon. It enhances the breathability of the garment as well. And actually, it promotes indoor air quality. Breathes, sustainable. It's amazing, bro. But then we moved on to the fun part, which is all about trying on the product, trying on the shoes, seeing all the different innovative products that Matt's has made. This is definitely a way to, to get some attention. The salad, you know, lettuce um, sandals, which as soon as I saw, I was like, oh, these are hard, I can't lie. But we've always tried to make fun of the kind of stereotypes that are linked to it veganism. And I love how he's taken, you know, something that is known to be a stereotype and turned it into something that's more expressive and something that's more fun. So today we're going to be tie-dyeing. Why, you may ask? Why tie-dye? Why dye a tie? Tie, why dye? Life is painful. So uh, this is a one-off exclusive to this store and it is fully vegan, so I'm definitely trying it on because it is amazing. You can tell it was very well made. I feel like old Greg from Mighty Boosh. <laughs> I'm old Greg. Pleased to meet you. I think that's quite vital as well for a high fashion brand. Do you know what it looks like? A mixture between Ian Brown and Old Greg merging together in a sustainable jumper. Step one, we bought the clothes in water and vinegar. So I've got a pair of socks here, hoodie, t-shirt, one part vinegar and four parts water. Beetroot okay. is purple and that was obviously green, like a Hulk. When it comes to tie-dyeing, this is something he actually does. We just need to boil this and pick the leaves off the nettles, which is going to be great fun. <laughs> yeah, I ain't cutting any of this shit. This is all you, man. I hate beetroot. And the next product I tried on was the racing shoes. You'd never look at it and be like, oh, that's a vegan sneaker. You'd look at it and just be like, oh, this is super fly. Or does it say recycle or die on the front as well? Yeah. Tell me this is not a bad boy vegan crap. You're actually the first person wearing them right now. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah. Jeez, <laughs> catch that. And you've got these deep, deep pockets that your hand just... Yeah, bro, I was gonna touch the button. I was just... Bro, I'll put my hand <laughs> yeah. in that. I was like, You're Yo, just bro. sinking. I actually have a Nintendo Switch. The pockets were so deep when I put my hands down. It felt like my arms were just straight down by my side. I couldn't even fit my Nintendo Switch in there. That's the most convenient thing ever. Do you know how many times I'm struggling? I got this Nintendo Switch. I have to carry out a whole backpack because <laughs> I got it on me, bro. <laughs> you know how I even get this backpack? I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Uh, the smell coming off of this stuff. This is terrifying. This is like, this is like a deleted scene from Saw. <laughs> really, it's this track jacket. That track jacket is lovely. I'll probably be coming back for that piece. It kind of goes from Danny to Elias to Danny again. Not for the final outfit, but I need this track jacket, 100%. We did end up getting distracted. My question is, yeah, do you like Pringles? Pringles are not crisps, they're biscuits. Then I tried on the boots. I never wear boots, actually. Matt's took something that looks inseparable from Levoir and made a vegan version. So what we're gonna do now is chop up all these nettle leaves, put them in this bowl, and then we're gonna put them onto boil. So there is a vegan suit. Suits can be very unsustainable, so to have a fully sustainable vegan suit, I think that's quite a powerful move. Oh shit, mate, I'm not going near that. Fuck, I don't know what to do. I personally think Khan's setting levels and is actually like setting pace for a lot of these big houses that are actually already established. Pushing like sustainability isn't, yeah. isn't what my main focus is. It's mainly on the silhouette and the concepts. That, that's why we literally put it on the white t-shirt because just to put it out there, sustainability is not a trend. Like. So spiral dye is your traditional tie dye. It's legit where it's just a spiral in the center of the t-shirt which expands out. And you see these creases that you're forming here. Mm -hmm. That's what the dye is going to get caught in. So you just need to keep that going. Usually he said he ties it in six, and that's exactly what we've done. Without further ado, treat it like a newborn. I have to leave this for a few days for it to soak up all the dye, so I'll be out of the loop. I'm gonna take the shoes or slides away and style it with a full vegan outfit. Matt's has never even seen the racing sneakers style before because I'm the first person to wear it. Hopefully, 
They can help me change my footprint. It should be irregular to have these clothes dyed in ways that like, you know, pollutes the oceans and stuff like that. He's definitely communicated that message and I have to salute him, man, it's hard. It's not gonna be the layeriest thing you've ever seen on Pierre Cube, but it's definitely vegan. I think that's like a really important part that a lot of other brands should definitely take note of and follow suit. So I wanna say a massive shout out to you, Scott, man. Thank you, man, you gave me some insight. We bust some jokes. It was really nice to see you as well. And I'm gonna see you real soon. I'll see you guys on Judgment Day. I'm gonna see the outcome of this and hopefully it bangs. <laughs> oh. oh, bloody hell. My joints need it, oiling as it is. Never mind. So thank you, Saeed, so much for coming down and judging this episode. My name is Saeed Rubey, co-founder of Story MFG, a brand that uses all natural materials and natural dyes to try and create clothing that has a positive impact on the planet. Saeed look like a skinny DJ Khaled. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready? You sure? Yeah. Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here today to judge the boys' vegan outfits. I'm expecting good things. I think that the world has changed a lot in the last five years. A very narrow field has like, opened up. This huge market with lots and lots of options. So you're expecting a lot? I'm expecting as much as I would expect from a non-vegan outfit. Oh wow, that is pressure. Yeah, that is crazy. Damn. Dex, you're up first. I'm excited to see what you got. Let's go. Caution, if you're gonna do this, do it properly, innit? Kind of, I've never seen that. Base, you, did you leave it out wet or something? That, is that actually mould? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I wanted to do something involving dying. But you're here, alive. Because <laughs> I'm Dex Christ, with the greatest resurrection of all time. Now, in order for me to do that, obviously, I have to use t-shirts. I decided to look into organic cotton. When Dex came out, I thought I was probably going to choose him to win because I like the look. I used a high street brand called Weekday. I got a plain white t-shirt and a plain white hoodie, and I went foraging. The whole outfit kind of went together quite well. I went and got beetroot. That is how I dyed the hoodie. Ah, uh, hold on. Here's a proper <laughs> so those marks are there because when I was actually tied dyeing it, I left some of the leaves in and it added that effect. I wish I'd done more of it now. Yeah, it actually looks pretty sick. And then I am wearing vegan leather Dr. Martens. I want him to actually carry on dressing like that for the rest of summer. First thing I want to talk about is the hoodie because obviously I remember back in the day day. Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Still, the fact that you made it, you DIY'd the thing, it looks hard, fam. Definitely, next time, use a ruler to cut it, get it straight. But it's calm. I, I literally like... just done it now, bro. I didn't oh, even... did you? Yeah. Oh, more ratings, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bottom half, I think it looks sick. I really dig low docks, rolled down tube socks, and long shorts. I think you should like steeze that on more often. I encourage anybody to try natural dyeing. I really like layering different tie dyes. I really like it. Thanks, Dex. Danny, you're up next. Sweet. My look is full Stella McCartney. Obviously coming from the family, so Linda McCartney, Stella's mum, has the most banging vegan sausages. Paul McCartney is one of the Beatles. Well, we're this here, is a Danny. very humane we, we, undertaking. We, 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 you don't need to invite us. Thanks for the invitation. I love that. And Stella herself, she's lovely. She makes amazing clothes. It's like, cool. What a bum lick. <laughs> <laughs> Danny walked out, I thought that it was an excellent fit. Quite utility looking, but it was elevated. And then when he said it was Stella McCartney, it kind of made sense. <laughs> Look through Stella's stuff. It is all cruelty free. It is all like at least vegetarian. But for this challenge, we needed to get full vegan. The trousers were amazing. And I love the fact that it is literally, I just thought <laughs> I think I ate cheese yesterday. I didn't even feel that one cut. 
I'd choose a suit because I do love suits and I think suits usually like with the linings, it's just not sustainable. And the actual Stan Smiths are fully vegan, so no vegetarian glue or anything like that. So I thought that was really cool. The fact that he's gone and found Stan Smiths that are vegan, I think that's sick. With certain brands that want to be like vegan and sustainable, you want to appeal to the masses. And these appeal to the yeah, low masses. Yeah. Oh no! Wait. The fit is super clean. I love the high the high waistedness of the truck. <laughs> That's not weird. Do you have like the perfect silhouette to fit into like a suit and just make it look like just more than what it is? The kind of colour scheme being like all neutral and white and ecru was really cool. And then the t-shirts was probably a highlight for me. I'm really like a sucker for these like hippie-ish kind of cleaned up t-shirts. That little detail with the whole the zip just comes out and then it just that yeah, it sits really nice. Gives a little bit of a flow. Yeah, <laughs> a nice little flow if you walk. Stella McCartney is obviously like what a lot of people think about when they think about sustainability. She's been at it for a long time. These are from a jumpsuit, like a flight suit. That's why that zip goes right there. She's just like chopped the top off. I swear. And Damn. then like made like a, a version of it. Uh, cheers, Danny. Shaquille, you're up next. Why are you creasing? Because you walk out every time the same. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I decided to hit up my boy Khan. He's launched his whole new collection and it's literally 100% all sustainable. The shoes are from a brand called Veja. Is it Veja or Veja? I think it's Veja. <laughs> yeah. It's either Veja or Veja, I'm not too sure. Either way, it's V-E-J-A. So they're natural rubber and they actually are vegan and they're also sustainable. We got the Velour tracksuit bottoms. Did you not... said Velour? Yeah, bro. <sighs> Yeah, you can see it. That's mad. Bro, it's so fire. That is mad. Shaq smashed it. Khan, you know, what a sick designer. Big shout out to you, man. The hoodie's a bit cropped because he wants it to be kind of like unisex. His explanation of the entire fit, like, I really think brought an, like, an extra level of interest to the whole thing. Like, try to find the second pocket that's in here. Where is it, bro? Okay, <laughs> so in the pocket, there's actually a zip right here. Put your hand in there. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> the hoodie, amazing. Invisible zip, felt great. Here we are on a big boss man jacket that is made from 100%. Guess what it is? Is it recycled or is it a leather made Plastic from something boss. else? Bingo. I would 100% wear this, like, we know I'd wear this jacket, bro. <laughs> the attention to detail is un unbelievable. Like, the little pocket there, you know what I'm saying? The rib there, you've got the inside pocket there, and then you've got the massive pockets there. And it's like, there's, there's so much that's gone into it, which is, which is incredible. It's amazing to see young designers doing that, which will hopefully spearhead this, make it not even a thing to be vegan, it's just normal. I think the jacket's really cool. I think the ideas behind it, like, it's a lot of thought. Yeah. That's what kind of gets missed. Cheers, Shaquille. All right, Elias, you're up next. So I went and met a guy called Matt, who owns a vegan footwear brand called Rombo. Seven years ago, he made a shoe me uh, that was made out of bark. The problem was it cost like 800 pounds to make. It started biodegrading when he was wearing it over a certain amount of time. Oh, wow. He also makes a lot of shoes out of plastic bottles as well, like the jacket. He paid attention to the footwear, showing you guys that it's possible to get sick kicks that are fully sustainable and are vegan. I'm a massive fan of these shoes. This detail here says recycle or die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Which nice. I just find is bad, man. The shoes were definitely the star of the show. The t-shirt is uh, from Wheat Day again, Organic Cotton, which I think is sick because it's a high street brand, which is extremely cheap and affordable. And the fleece is from GMBH, and it's actually biodegradable. Ellis's outfit is probably the one that I find more, most wearable. You know me, I like a, I like a big shoe sometimes. Mm. The design of it is just, it's just a mad thing. Can't even lie to you, bro. Even the bat. And he's actually the first person in the world to wear them, which is mad. What is it? Every bit of plastic that's ever been made is still on this planet. So to be able to make stuff, it's like, yeah. done with it. It's like, instead of throwing it in the bin, just chuck it in your compost heap. Mm -hmm. The shoes are definitely the star. <laughs> Ron Bauer is such a good brand. He's really pushing the boundaries in footwear. My favorite detail is like the back. 
thing. Oh yeah, the... that is like so technically difficult. I think it's so good and like it looks so designer. I think these are all like, amazing. Goes to show that there's so much out there. Like you probably could have come back with like 15 other fits as well. Like, it makes me like feel really positive about the future. All that said, I think the winner is. Shaquille. So a huge thank you to Saeed. Comment who you thought should have won below. See you next week. Thank you. <laughs>